What's up, my people? How on a day waiting? They happen waiting. They solve. Uh, today, I have with me one of the most talented skit makers in Nigeria to ever grace the social media stage twice. Welcome, <laughs> my brother. Hi, guys. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> okay, so, um, a quick one. Why, you know, twice? You know, where did, he, where did that come from? Um... So while I started my career, right, I was I was looking for a name that would kind of fit into what I'm doing, and I'm I'm like for me, I always told myself that I want to put twice the effort into whatever I'm doing. So that just came about twice, but different spelling. Yeah. Oh, makes sense, makes sense. So you speak yeah. Yoruba so well, and I know your father is from Edo State, and your mother is a Yoruba, right? Mm. But mm -hmm. you grew up with your grandmother. How did that happen? <laughs> like, what's, what's the... <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> so, of course now. Uh... <laughs> so I lost I lost my dad at a very young age, right? And uh, my mom was going through it. So I guess she needed her time to just, you know, heal and do other things. So at that, at that point, my grandma was the one taking care of me back then. And that was how I grew up with her till I later met up with my mom again and you know from there i would describe your life as a the whole thing that happened in your life as a roller coaster we, we still have some questions do we better be ready you know some intense questions but it's some oh, of them uh, might be might be kind of deep but you know I, mm. i'm sure that you, you should you should be expecting that anyways you school in in india right yeah yeah at some point and you, at some point and you later went yeah. to london metropolitan university to yeah study um, information IT. and communication yeah, technology. technology yeah okay okay so what was the process like at some point i think you dropped out like before all kept, before india and all that i kept dropping out <laughs> <laughs> i don't like school bro <laughs> like i don't like the idea that i have to sit in a four corner room like listening to someone if it was more of practicals i mean i feel like i would have finished school because i still plan to like further my studies in like filmmaking hopefully in future and i will definitely finish that because i'm passionate about stuff like that but each time i felt like every time i went to school or try to like study a course or um, a course or something it just felt like i wasn't supposed to be there i wanted to be out there on the field probably filming stuff or like just doing anything media or mm -hmm. filmmaking generally so I guess that was why I kept dropping out, dropping out. And so you know. you studied graphic design while you were in India. Was it graphic design? Yeah, yeah. That was like our oh. first year in Anama. Like before we move on to like film studies, animation, all those things. Did you think that was also part of what um, helped you um, in your editing? And um, I mean, kind of helped Baba. you in some way. It's YouTube tutorials that helped me with editing. You know? Like wow. as soon as I dropped out, I was just I was waking up, sleeping up on YouTube tutorials. Generally checking out to edit and stuff. Okay, was it was it like you were being forced? Do you feel like you were being forced? <sighs> you know Nigeria for this now. <laughs> I feel like I felt like I was I was influenced by a lot of things, like my family extended, you know, then obviously you say you should be a lawyer, doctor, all those things. Nobody was really seeing what I was passionate about as something that made sense, you know. Why why would you go and stop watching all shit at theater? So all those things, they were like they were they were kind of factors, right? And I'm hoping I change the narrative, like when I become a father myself, and just let people, like kids, do what they want to do. Okay, so what do you, what, what's what's the next move now? I'm talking about your your school. Do you intend going back to school? At what point do you think that is perfect to do that? So I think I might be going back in two years from now. I have a project that is coming up that I want to work on. Then as soon as I work on that, like is is a little bit bigger than what I do normally. So as long as I work okay. on that and it's successful, I think I would go back to study. But nobody okay. notice I'm offline, Sha, because they're always complaining that I'm, I'm offline. Yeah, man. You know, I mean, that's good. Sometimes scarcity is what you need. Sometimes. Mm. Not all the time. But yeah, sometimes. I get, I get where you're coming from. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, um, about your, your skits, and um, how, how, how do you come up with these skit ideas? So, 
all my skits are like 98 or 95 percent of them come from experiences my experience experiences of like my friends i can go somewhere now and they'll just say something and from there i'll just say okay you know what i'm going to work on that i'll just i would i would say the same story in form of a skit maybe slightly over exaggerated but most times these things happen so i just i i pick my ideas from diaries of myself and people my throwback what i see when i go out day-to-day activities and all that wow that's 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 amazing now do you have a content yeah. calendar um or availability <laughs> schedule like things like that to help you with this whole thing so i used to do that like when i just started and um for some reason i had to just stop because i feel like i don't work too well under pressure if i if i have a proper schedule that says oh you have to post three videos a week i can post those three videos a week (laughs) but the problem is i would post them at the best time when i I won't like i might not feel like recording at that point in time and skit is funny if you're sad you actually can make people laugh like that's the fact because hmm. you're, you're giving out the same vibe the aura you don't know the energy but you just see that the hmm. energy yeah so you just see that hmm. the energy is not just you know aligning right and that's why i just hmm. felt like i was just record whenever i feel like even if i don't edit it at least i have something on ground that i can you know and stuff like that then i think the situations i find myself in sometimes they kind of influence my decision when it comes to like scheduling my stuff and when i say situations um i'm a very emotional person so i try not okay. to fall in love <laughs> because when you look like i'm beginning to, to like somebody <laughs> i feel like i feel a little bit too comfortable because i i don't know i just feel like there's no reason for me to like bother about the outside world and i get so involved in myself sometimes it's not even about that i'm just it could be any other thing else like my hobby i love watching movies a lot so i could just be carried away by things like that but i'm always i feel like the brain is always working sure like even if obviously. i'm not doing anything yeah obviously <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, so what, the the inspiration um you said do you have you talked about your inspiration where you draw the, your inspiration from right it's just the experiences but if it's like an individual um that would be ed murphy, <clears throat> ed murphy. I, I love the man so much yeah uh, what about just, now? Look, I, within within the uh, social media space, who would you yeah. say is an inspiration currently? Oh, when I really inspire myself. <laughs> As now you don't even inspire other people's self. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no offense. I love what everybody is doing, but I don't know. I can't pick inspiration from anybody. Except I, I love some people's lifestyle, Sha. I love Bado's lifestyle. Um okay. and Deco. I love the fact that they just focus more on the craft than you know being out there doing unnecessary stuff and on getting unnecessary attention. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So so how are you able to jump into different characters and how long does it take? I mean to make one video. Hmm. That's a very crazy question. So actually it depends. If I'm just doing like two characters, um, pre and post production all together might take me roughly two days, and that's like obviously I'll take break to like eat, you know, relax, but I need to go back to work. So two days. If I have to do like three to five characters, depending on the character again, it might take me about three days. So sometimes when it looks like I'm not doing anything, it might take you online, three days. Yeah, yeah. For it might. How many minutes video? Um, so that would be like maybe two to three minutes video. Three days. Yes. Yes. Because wow. the because the, <laughs> the funny enough, and that's why I feel like I love when I do collaborations. Because mm-hmm. I just have to go and play a character and just leave. I don't have mm-hmm. anything. I don't have any work to do there. On that thirty minutes, I'm done. But when it comes to mine, it, like I need to always remind myself, like we're not having a conversation. It's just each character stating something. Then you have to cut everything to make it look as if these characters are like interacting with one another. You so edit your you got, edit your, your content yourself? Yes, yes. I, I've tried working with some people, but I feel like... You know the, you know the work. Yeah. So I I've tried myself. myself. <laughs> I've tried myself. It's not... It's not <laughs> <laughs> that's the <laughs> headache, bro. Uh, 
for yeah, well, why, 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 why why is it hard even i was i was listening to mkbhd i don't know if you know him the the guy in america mkbhd is into tech um yeah, okay. yeah he's a tech yeah, guy. yeah i read yeah yeah i know him yeah yeah so the, the um his name is you can call him brownsley um, i forgot his like his full name so he was he, also talking he about guy like this a black guy, yeah, 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 yeah slim, yeah, tall. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so he was talking about that, and, I was, uh, and he, he, he said that um, it's quite difficult for him to employ an editor because um, at that stage, bro, at that stage, you know. Yeah, like, like you have like eighteen million till date. This guy still edit his stuff. Whoa, whoa. So, so I, I did. So bad. And what I discover um, over time is your own idea is still your original idea. Like your dreams, everything put together. Who is going to be like you? Nobody. Because you want it to come to life. And you will... This is yeah. your editing software is that work that you need to bring whatever is in your head right your now head. to life. So who, except that person is in your head. <laughs> is that head? Not everybody is in your head at all. Honestly. <laughs> Is real. Um, and very, someone. very, very, very. You know, he has people that does all that thing, except that editing, Sha. That editing, that's the problem. That editing, you always have to go back to the. So it takes you, f- it takes you two to three days to get the job yeah. done for everything yeah. for a two minutes video. I think people need yeah. to understand the work you put in into this thing, and we need to emphasize. I don't think we are doing a great job, you know. <laughs> to, emphasizing like on what this guy as a creator that have been entertaining his fans for a very long time the work he put in in two to three minutes you just watch it and be like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but like <laughs> the back <laughs> the, um the work put in the back is like yeah crazy it's, and i commend you for that bro man good job thank you brother good job. i appreciate it. yeah <laughs> yeah so um Twice and family, how was that project? Um, what were the challenges? Because I know you did this um twice and this thing you said it's in cinemas and stuff like yeah. So yeah, like I, I try to I try to where, where can I watch the movies in cinemas? Like how can I how is it's no longer in cinemas now, but if you check my YouTube channel, it's in the description of all my videos. So uh... Okay. I don't know if you remember me saying I'm trying to work on a project before I go back to school. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying that here. I'm not, I'm, I've not said it anywhere else. So oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I plan on working on. So the challenge is right. Back then, I I felt like I just had this enthusiasm to like create that stuff, that project, but it really wasn't the best time financially um even like just having all the whole resources i needed yeah, the people every 90 percent of who that work with me on that movie they did it for free i just gave them whatever i could like it was wow. it was they were they're really amazing people i cannot even like sleepless nights and we shot for like i think we shot for for 12 13 days straight we had one Whoa. day break yeah yeah <laughs> If I was to do that, I'd be tired out of it. You know, Rich, <laughs> but you did it anyway. I mean, it's the challenge that you were able, you, you were able to conquer. So that's yeah. the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah. So what I learned from that is what I want to like put into this one now, basically. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I should I should check it out though because I've been trying to yeah. see if I could like you know yeah I, I should check it out really real soon and you rap too have you ever thought of like owning a record label i mean you talked about allow me dating being part of your inspiration <laughs> <laughs> no it's not my thing i i think I, I i would be more inclined to supporting somebody that does something like i do i haven't seen a guy that actually does something similar i think C- yeah, I sydney know. sydney talker has a record label yeah. he's even signed a guy i think so i think maybe that's always been his dream though Okay, well, are you aware of that? That this guy, Sydney Tucker, has a record label. There's a guy that I, I feel like he signed because sometimes yeah. they might front someone. This record label might front mm-hmm. someone like, "Oh, you are like the face of the record label," but there will be a big guy behind. But I don't know if that was Sydney Tucker's situation. But there's a guy is mm-hmm. really, really pushing. You know, mm-hmm. I think, I think K- Khalid Khalid also. Khalid, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you you rap like. You 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 <laughs> you rap 
comedian you like all in one like how 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 do you even what do you do for fun already for fun um i just asked to peter watch films <laughs> i like being silly <laughs> when i'm not taking life too serious like i actually love it so i don't know i just do whatever is in my head okay uh i'm about to get a little bit intense now um get down come on. <laughs> who is mr licky ah oh, damn he's somebody that i feel like i shouldn't say this here Sha. i don't like the man okay and like i don't want to say things that would implicate me here but like i could do the worst honestly and i don't it was my stepdad and that's i don't i don't actually want to go into details because i get very emotional and i could be very intense i don't want to say things yeah but that's okay. just it is my stepdad and is if is a <laughs> it's okay it's fine it's okay <laughs> i'm just gonna cut it out it's okay in your song uh give me a sign i, I like the song by the way um <laughs> you questioned god and uh you said uh where was god when your dad passed away where was um he when your web designer um died for nothing uh you, you said that year you said this year you, you lost a fans to depression you really pour out um, you know your heart in that song you even mentioned um what happened between your mom and some family members and how she tried to kill herself mm. yes That's a lot in a song <laughs> <laughs> what, what what was going through your mind at the time you were in the studio writing that song what was going through your mind like how do you feel at that point at the point you're doing this work this this um you know song so at that point i felt like i just had a lot of questions i was going through i was going through everything like from, yeah from food poisoning to like losing the house Whoa. where i was living my job food poisoning then, what happened with the food poisoning i don't know i think i don't want to mention them but i think i ate somewhere that i wasn't supposed to eat and for days i just kept through like i nearly threw up my intestine i was Ooh. just throwing up everything at some point blood but Ooh. anything i take in even if it's like a little drop of water it comes out immediately like nothing can enter my stomach that period till i got better sure. so i just Ooh. feel like i asked a lot of questions because i know some family members as well no offense they we do a lot in the church right and i just felt like nobody could stand up for me that period it still makes me like have this antisocial should i call it anxiety till now i, I want to talk to some of my family members but i just feel like you know what i'm going to remember some of these things that happened to me in the past i'd rather just for now so that period just made me question a lot of things then i i feel like i read a little bit about history you know christianity slavery all those things and it just makes me keep asking questions every day. I still ask questions till date. Till date. And those things were just... Yep. Till date? Yes. And those things were just my curiosity. And I, I, did, I didn't do the song with the main purpose of bashing my religion. or Because I, I grew up in a Christian family, although I have my own belief. So... Are I, you I still a Christian? Like, Would you consider yourself a Christian? I consider myself more of a humanist. But I'm a Christian by... by, by should I say, I can't say by force, I'm a Christian. <laughs> I mean, what, I don't, what, I don't destroy my life for this thing. <laughs> I say, you don't just destroy life. <laughs> Please, um, continue. I don't want to, yeah. um, yeah. <laughs> so I, I fuck with Christianity, I go, I go to church, um, but just know that I always ask questions. I'm never scared to ask questions. And that song was more of me trying to ask questions. I, I love the fact that some of my, audience i don't like to call them fans i don't know why some of my audience i like the fact that they they put me through some things when you go through the comment section you can see people talking from experience people um trying to like you know prove to me that some things i might be saying might not be totally accurate then you have some that actually can relate to what i'm saying so it's still i'm still trying to learn from both sides like i i, I'm, I can't say this is right this is wrong but i have the facts and i have you know questions i have other people's experiences to like you know mix and mm -hmm. sure sure um so um while i was um listening to the song like i said the song is really really deep you know and i, I think a lot of people could relate and mm. um in that video you know you mm. 
you shot yourself. What, what's the what's the message? So the message there was that so you, you my... shot yourself, and yeah. there was this spirit that I feel like there's a message there. You were wearing black, I I, I think. Yeah. So so <laughs> so at the end of the video, by the way, they arrested all of us after that video. But anyway, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that story. So, national security just came, carry all of us. They danced like, oh, sorry for that. But, anyways, okay. <laughs> the idea the idea behind that was so when I wanted to record that song, right? First time I recorded, I was just, I was depressed. I was just, I was just recording, give me a sign, blah, blah. When I sent it to my managers at that time, she told me, that she knows that I'm weak, but I should go back and record it with anger. I recorded it in my wardrobe back then. So oh, okay. I said I should go and record it back with anger, which I did, and I felt the passion more. So the idea behind it was I felt dead inside, right? But I didn't want that to be like my definition. That's why at the end of the video, you see a new chapter, something begins. Mm -hmm. So that was me killing my old self. And this new self now. That old self was very visible. Like, everybody knew him to be this aggressive, you know. This new self of me is just me living my life. You might not even see me. You might not notice yeah. me, but I'm existing, and I'm happy about the life I'm yeah. living, you know. That's a new chapter for me, basically. There's something else. You said you don't know how to write a love song because you can't relate. Um, what is love when your dad is late? It's like you make people laugh, but your life is a joke. <laughs> Madu, that we talk out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So now, um, now, mm. would you say fame is a curse or a blessing? It's both. It's a it's a blessing and a curse. It's been more, more of a blessing. Of, more of what? More of a blessing. Yeah. Do you feel like you are you are trying to prove somebody wrong? You are trying to prove some some. You are trying to prove a group of people wrong or somebody wrong. When is that, I started, is that a drive? The, the first year, yes, but as of now, like I don't care, bro. I just, I just live my life. I'm not even on social media like before again. So I feel like right now, I just, I just want peace. That's all. Okay. I, I okay. guess that's part but, of the group. I don't know, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that uh, music video is quite, it's quite dark. Um, yeah. Um, at, at a point in 2016, you were suicidal, and yeah. um. So when Abraham even begged for uh, begged you, you know, crying on social media. So how are you able to deal with depression? But wait, so, wait, uh, before we talk about that, mm. the whole thing about you ah. know, Abraham, like the oh my god, what happened? I, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an issue with the gen. Okay, tell me. Okay, yeah. No, it's even it's even clear like this. I don't know how you did it, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about the Tony Abraham situation, uh, mm. crying coming on social media, and it became really huge on social media. You know, drew a lot of attention. You know, on twice, mm. everybody w was really concerned about what is really going on, like with you um, at that point, and you were in the UK at the time. Mm. Yeah. So what? 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 What happened? <sighs> Um, I was just going through a lot, and if I'm being honest, the real people mm -hmm. that actually that really showed up for me was um, one pastor, Mrs. Like that, then Fowls, Fowls the bad guy, then my fans. Like literally, nobody else really did anything after that. Period. Really, like yeah, like facts. Nobody personally reached out and be like twice. How are you doing? How are you? I didn't hear anything from anybody. Maybe they did, but I didn't hear anything. And I tried to reach out to some of these people. They just air me like literally. I try to like even talk about oh, thanks. So I would like to bring a gift or something. They just they don't they don't they don't respond to me. I don't know why. I don't want to say we're in a showbiz world, but um mm -hmm. I'll just keep it out I'll, I'll keep it at that. So yeah, they files the bad guy. Um that woman, I can't remember her name now. She's a pastor missus. She reached out to me. Then like my friend, my fans were really, really in my DMs, like on social media, just trying to like encourage me that period um try to think again there was, was some people that actually or, was yeah. it me or you just try to escape doing abraham's name brother everybody should get the clue <laughs> i'm not going to say anything <laughs> everybody 
everybody should pick what they want to pick for that information. So like, the people, the people that actually that actually ignored you, mm-hmm. were these people, were they your friends? You know, before this thing happened, do you think that this way were, were you? Um, hoping that people like this because of your relationship with them do you feel like okay you trust that they will reach out and they just ignored funny enough people like, in the I, entertainment industry um yeah. like you know skit makers or uh musicians like who, who are these people funny enough right skit makers actually reached out to me like my colleagues I can remember Chris Clown very well. He even wanted to meet up with me like all those OGs back then now they actually reached out to me the i i don't want to say i distance myself but i don't really I, I i don't really have a lot of friends so like none of my friends i wasn't like i wasn't looking forward to like expecting something from many of my friends that wasn't there for me emotionally at that point in time but the problem is there was a lot of people talking about it but there was not a lot being done in the background Fox was hmm. not even around but he was controlling the police whatever there and the ambulance whatever that later caught up with me and you know asked me questions and you know did whatever they could to like help me psychologically back then so okay, speaking about speaking about friends you said mm. in one of your videos you said that you like to mind your business now and mm. you, that when you tried to not mind your business you got into trouble yeah. what was the time so um it was something that happened during covid period I think some there was a situation with Sydney, right? Sydney Talker. Then yeah. that that matter escalated somehow because I was trying to defend him, but I guess I didn't have the facts at that point in time. So after getting some facts, some people in the industry to reach out to me with proof and all those things, I had to denounce it and just apologize to everybody. Um, so situations like that just make me kind of distance. So that. They distance myself from like some people, but we're friends. Like if I see them, like I fuck with them. I don't have I don't have any ill mind against anybody. I don't have bad blood with anybody. Um you in, in talk, are, you, are you guys yeah. you talk, are you guys in, in good terms? Yes, now I have his number safe. Like, yeah, we were in good terms. We saw during the protest period too. And either I, I don't I don't really see him outside like that, Sha. But that project protest period, we worked together, we were chilling and whatever. So we're actually cool. Okay. Um, the only person I think we might not be cool, <laughs> and I feel like I just want to like see him in person and just explain to him is um, this guy, what's his name, Nasty Black. Oh, yeah, what, what so, happened? There was a time he reached out to me, right, for a content, and that's the first time I'm actually ignoring messages like that. Like, I didn't bother, you know, and that was because that period there was a controversy going on. I think, um, he did a skit that kind of felt like you know. And the all through that period, I can't lie to you, right? I am not, I might not be the best of a friend when it comes to when it comes to supporting things that don't really make sense, right? So I just felt like in that case, there should have been more of like a tender apology to the public rather than trying to like mitigate the whole situation. So that was why I just, you know, but I feel like everybody has grown from there. He, he has become like a way better content creator. So I just wish he understands that. I, I will try to reach out to him after this video. I think it's my fault. Okay. <laughs> so okay. so how, yeah. when did that happen? How long now? I think that was like 2020 or 2019. I can't remember. It's been a while. And you guys haven't even talked since then. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm always on his page. Uh, once in a while, I go there, like his stuff, and you know, laugh stuff. at his videos. Yeah, no, but no bad blood. <laughs> no, 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 I don't have any issue with anybody. Cool, cool. Um, so about um, I, I remember you mentioned your manager at the time. You did you sack anybody? Did you change your team? What happened? <sighs> business, business, business. <laughs> did you feel, do you feel you feel you feel like? Is it? Yes, you like yes. With you? yes, and sometimes it, it just doesn't make sense, right? I feel like some of these situations are things we could talk about. I think sometimes I just maybe we get too familiar and people forget that we're running a business, like they just business. feel like they can do whatever they like. And um, so that's those are things that actually put me off about like my job. 
so yeah but i don't i don't hate these people like i just if something is not working for me or not flowing with my whatever i just cut it off i don't i don't do too so much when you, when, we, when you talk about ripping off can you give us a mm -hmm. scenario i feel like i feel like people that have been in this i mean except you're legal uh not supposed to talk about mm -hmm. it but um you know i feel like the people that are out there that look up to you also if you don't you might not know they are learning from you and there are some things especially when it comes to business that they would like to learn from you from your mistakes and all that and this is mm -hmm. something that the big guys out there don't want you guys to tell us or to tell you know the the people um out there especially you know your subs your subscribers your fans and you know on um um on instagram and and all these platforms even though you're not going to give us the full information like what is the story and and how can how can you learn from it okay so when it comes to the story about uh, managing like content creation business or youtube being or whatever like being a youtuber or whatever i am not necessarily i'm not necessarily going to like bring in the names of people but the first time i got ripped off i think i was ripped off of um five thousand dollars and at that Whoa. time that money meant a lot to me so it didn't really pay me i can't even lie <laughs> it will pay you another uh, five thousand now <laughs> so uh what i just learned from that situation was first of all make sure that you have if you can get a visa that can just take you to every part of the world like just get it you can never get enough like visas or whatever like be it eu be it british be it um united just be able to travel whenever you want to for business reasons don't don't get stuck up with anything or have limitations because there are some of these things too that would also reduce the cost of maybe you have to like get somewhere quickly you know you, you would move easily all those kind of things so just make sure you're very mobile um then contract is very important i'm your friend i'm your friend my g my g or more, mm. all those things too. they get lost in the process did you did you, so did you do that you didn't sign contract with these people the first one i didn't but the second one wow. i made sure i did yeah okay so and sometimes some of your friends might see that thing as ah we'll be g's now yes i understand but i'm also doing this contract so that i can also fulfill my own part of the whatever it's not just you the obligation so and sometimes like we have these issues with clients too right they they send email then all of a sudden they don't want to talk in the email again they don't want to be talking on phone be conniving or saying some things and things get lost in that process i prefer when you write it down or you say something or you know so that that way we can have proof even if we don't have like a binding agreement like that so yes contract is very important and sometimes when you hear things like okay we'll give you 10 million but we'll first pay 5 million this do maybe a right time down if you really want that 10 mm -hmm. million or else mm -hmm. just you could yeah so L did it done. L did it done. I watched his interview uh the yeah. on Ted Jubbyface's show, and he was talking about how he got ripped off by these guys. And uh, you know his story. You should you should go check it out on Ted Jubbyface. It's a, it's a recent interview. Uh, oh, I think I think they're Ted Ted Jubb Day USA now. But yeah, mm. so like he he got ripped off. Like these are the guys. These guys are doing you know fine they were you know going on vacation and stuff like that and it was like it was. Of, even, even if Alodia was, yeah if Alodia was under him then soji was under him then so you have to like explain to these guys because he put in his own personal money and they keep telling him i know what we can do money will give you thousands of dollars and he would see these guys these guys are literally scammers right you see these guys you know on social media buying cars living lavish life taking their girlfriends on yeah. trips and it'll be like yeah. this is something this is the, what they front so that you will feel like oh yeah 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 okay. yeah i can trust these people you yeah. know so that's what happened to him. like that almost i'm talking about his career and everything. Yeah. he had to put in a lot and it took him nine months to at least get on his feet small and that is because it's ldd done like you know ldd oh, done has a strong background team. financially kind of you know and so yeah. that kind of like help him a little bit but he was okay teju was talking about oh yeah nine months is not that but it was like it's long when you're owing people you understand like <laughs> yeah you know, when you have zero people. you are not owing it's way better i'm, I'm telling you i'm <laughs> telling you you don't want to owe people <laughs> and every now and again obviously I reach into my account in the US, reach into my accounts in Nigeria, I go do, I make some money. I'm throwing money to sort of cover all of this stuff. So anyway, long story short is we got played. And I admit that. So essentially, that's their racket. Take money from investors, 
lie to the investors that you're spending money in the business, use the money for something else, buy cars for your girlfriends, go on luxury trips to China, London, Dubai, Seychelles, wherever it is. <laughs> yeah, so wow. I understand where that's coming from. Like, it's crazy, you know. Wow. That's why I intentionally was like, you know, like you have to say that part. People need to learn. You understand? Yeah. People need to learn from that from that yeah. experience. Yeah. So then one happened. One happened recently okay. too, Sha. Yeah. That I don't really want to talk about because I don't want to like ruin. I hate to ruin people's reputation. But what I also mm -hmm. learned from that is, um, whatever. If you have a business, whatever money is coming into that business, make sure it goes directly to your account. Even if you have like an account that a manager is managing, whatever, it's not enough. Because when you have issues, you can't you can't take these things to court or something. Just make sure that. Even if you have to like pay for other things like percentage, um, commission, make sure everything goes directly to the account with your own personal name. So yeah. Hmm. Wow. That's that's very important. Thank you for sharing that, anyways. <laughs> yes, um, boss. Do you do you like older women? Like have you ever dated someone five to ten years older than you? Or more older? Uh, no, than? no okay, most times you like older like, women. Yes, yes. Most times they're like a year older or two than me or three most of your um your your previous relationship of the people that you've had something with they have all mm. most of them are older than you they were older no maybe like just two but those that you said i like so those are people that actually like the vibe like i enjoy okay it. that you like the vibe yeah yeah wow i just wow. feel like we're more inclined what inclined. things that matter to us like it's mm -hmm. it's mutual on like Age matters. <laughs> it, it experience age matters. Uh, in life, life it experience helps, matters. Yeah, it helps. Experience. And especially you that have that brain that is like way above your your peers. Um, yeah. so you you tend to sometimes even if you date people in the, the same age brackets, you'll be like, oh no, <laughs> like what's going on, you mm. know. Or at mm. the same time, age matters. But I think you have dated matured people as well. You know, these people yeah. are older, but they, I think they are matured as well. Matured, yeah. You could be old, but not mature. True, true, true. Yeah, yeah. So in your song "Tripping," you were with an older and a plus size woman. Um, <laughs> Sugar, um, <laughs> I love that woman. Yes. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that lady? <laughs> so I just need I need um, a model. A model. So I asked. Yeah, so I asked one of my friends. Okay. I said, "Oh, there's someone okay. in our workplace that could, that could do it perfectly well." And the woman just came with her own good vibe. I was even feeling shy because she was just, yeah. she was, she was so in on it. Well, yeah, you were specific. Was, uh, you were like, you wanted, you wanted an older plus size lady. I just wanted a specific. woman. Who, but when they sent me picture and she's plus size, I'm like, perfect. It even makes it make more sense, right? So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so um, boobs or backside? But uh, boobs. I have nyash. What am I looking for nyash? I'm not obsessed with ass. Boobs <laughs> every day. <laughs> okay, who is who is um Rion? Is she your girlfriend? Are you um you know are you guys a thing? Rion is my geo. Nobody in the squad is allowed to date at all. Nobody in my Discord is allowed to date each other. It's just like is that is that a rule thing. you put down? Yes, that like rule? A business rule. I don't want us to ruin our friendship or right. like the relationship with our so okay. we're more like a family. So you can't you okay. can't do that. If you the okay. if the thought comes to your mind, you dead it. Just dead it. So we're cool, we're friends. What what okay. if somebody where some what if somebody um took that step? I hope that happens in the future. I know while we're still together. Because I, I said in the future, because well, I don't know what will happen. No, it can't happen now. We don't see ourselves finish. <laughs> look, look, I, like, you can it for yourself, right? like I'm saying that what if it happens? What are the steps that will be taken? Well, we'll probably talk about it in the group. I can't stop people from having their emotions like running. So we'll probably just talk about it in the group. Because if we don't have that person due to their emotions being down, we'll still not, they won't have a good vibe on the on the squad, right? But I don't think it can happen, Sha. But if it happens, yeah, we'll just let it fly. We'll talk about it and let it fly. Are you in a relationship? No. See, like, I won't ask, I want, I want to ask this question. Like, <laughs> for how long have you been single? Because it's like, you've always been single. 
and but i know of course as a guy now you've done like you 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 live you know of course uh, i don't live anything no. <laughs> contrary to what people say right i'm very very this is, this is what this is what you said like this is what you said that you still <laughs> i'm not putting God. words in your mouth i don't do that ah uh, <laughs> contrary to what people think sha i am not like i this is what you said have... this is what you said wait, 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 in I the q and a q and a yeah, yeah two years ago yeah what did i say you said that, you know, even though you're not in a relationship, they were talking about your body count. Oh. And all those things is cruise now. Like, why would I... Okay. How many people have dated me they should come out and talk? Like, I literally don't have more than, like, three or four exes, like, in my whole life. And I don't really hang out with babes like that. Like, sleep. Babes, sleep. I, we didn't talk about, say, sleeping. We didn't talk about, say, relationship. <laughs> we talking about saying, sleep. I don't really hang out with babes like that. Like, okay, let me explain. So, it, in the in the attempt to tr- try to be in a relationship, right? I've met some people, and I'm a kind of person where I like to do like one at a time. I am not good at multitasking. I'm not good at multi dating or whatever okay. that is. dating. So sometimes the vibe doesn't just work out. But I try to know people based on like a relationship level. Like we go for a while, low key, and um, yeah, we we'll see how it turns out. But sometimes we just have our differences and. You know, not want to ruin that friendship or whatever. You just be like, Omo, same money. Have you, have you did, dated any popular person like in the social world? No, and I won't. I would never. If any popular Why? person is having crush, dead. <laughs> I don't know. I just I feel like it's going to be do, a lot. Do, do you think that is messy in there? Like people, they 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 are rough. I'm talking about their lifestyle. Um, funny enough, I don't really think about it to that extent. But okay, I just what's, like, what's gonna, your thought? We're gonna have too much pressure. Like, you know, everybody's okay. trying to be like this public figure out there. And sometimes you just need to understand that we we, we need to live as human beings sometimes. Yes, we have our life, but at the same time, who who takes that position of you know the neutral person in the relationship? Imagine me now dating someone like Maraji. It cannot work. Because when <laughs> I'm supposed to shoot, she might she, she might want to shoot. Who is going to help her to shoot? Like who is going to cook? And we have to like be out there to stay relevant, right? We have to always do things. So it's like, and sometimes if we want to chill, it's like we have to post it again for content because mm-hmm. that's how mm-hmm. it is. Whereas, you yeah. know, just being our show normally. So it's just a lot for me. I think it's to be exhausting, if I'm being honest. Who, who created um, a help squad? So I, I, I called the guys together and we met. And um, that was how we created a hype squad. These were your friends before that not time. Yeah, like I used to talk to them. I liked them from our far, like I didn't know them personally, but I okay. liked them. So we sat down, we talked, then we vibed on one video. After that video, I just I was just like, okay, you know what? Let's do this. Like we're good. Okay. Um. So is there a contract binding you guys? There's no contract though. I I feel like we've all grown in the group to like understand the fact that you know we need to make this work so there was there was more like a mini contract in the beginning to like show how dedicated you are but after that time like i feel like we don't have it again it's not binding i believe everybody they they've grown like they're mentally. mature they're way more mature than yeah mentally than when we started so yeah we don't we don't have as, as at this moment but when you know maybe money issues want to come in again like i'm talking about big numbers we might definitely have to like involve some people just so that you know, each members can operate smoothly without thinking. Currently, no, what's, what's, the, currently what's the source? What's the source of income for the group? We get we get um jobs and YouTube revenue as well. Yeah, I know YouTube revenue. I'm talking about like an endorsement deals. Has, has there been like a? We just get one of jobs because sometimes the endorsement deals don't really favor us. Okay, so, okay, you guys yeah. do the calculation and everything. We'll be like, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Yeah. And uh, um, talking about talking about um, endorsement deals, which will be the highest amount where you don't ever get? Ah, it's not my amount you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear money sha- <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you talking about? You just mentioned the brand that I've paid you that you know reasonable amount, at least. Maybe Ubaiko. What What do they do? They They are into like gift cards and all those things. So okay. we 
we um i think bitcoin as well all the stuff so it was one where i think i mercy and um also we did like a campaign one period like that sure. so they they are, they are, they are, this thing is good even though we didn't finish but it was cool it was a good run was a good one. Oh, that's yeah that's amazing and um your um youtube re- revenue what the most money you've made like in uh in a month no comment <laughs> range range just give us the range <laughs> no comment <laughs> so have you been able to have sex on a plane no actually no i want i want it as private jets because plane everybody is there i didn't think about it properly so I don't have money for private jets yet, but if, I just want to sponsor me private jet, maybe. As weird as this might sound, see, I'm looking at, as weird as this might sound, I think it would be to have mm-mm, on a plane, like in the toilet of a plane. But the toilets of plane are always dirty, so maybe it was clean. But yeah, to have sex on the toilet of a plane. Do you um think men are polygamous in nature? I think that statement is crap, because... um. Because um, what I don't know, polygam polygamy is not is not in the genes, right? It's not it's not a trait. It's something that you develop or is your habit. And for someone like me, like I would always say, when I'm in a relationship, I actually put in effort. And I I find it insulting for people to say, oh, your boyfriend. If you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend, day or day, like it's cool. We don't have to judge you based on what you're doing. But in a relationship, there are people that are actually dedicated to make things work. And they talk about these things. They do the best to like make it work. So I don't agree with that statement. All men are not dogs. Even some of us that are not in relationship, we are still not dogs. Cause bro, I can. You hear some people say, "Oh, they were they chilled with me, blah blah blah, and stuff like that." But I'm like, okay. So what's the evidence that I was around like after that moment mm-hmm. or whatever? Sometimes I'm just I like being around people, but I don't. So yeah, I don't agree with that one. Okay. Some so, men, I, not all men. Yeah, yeah some some of course i know yeah so when are you going to marry <laughs> which guy could show with this this guy <laughs> bro <laughs> hey, hey, you the relationship first. so when i'm in the relationship i'll think about it you know some people usually know, say about marriage some people usually say mm, i'm thinking my target it might not work out in is like in two years because <laughs> Earlier, like you know, like <laughs> this is something you want to pass on. You probably have thought about it, like it's also age, man. It'd be like, I will set you down. Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe why we're growing, Sha. Right now, I I've never thought of mar- marriage. I didn't think I'm married. Like, I'm being honest, like, it's not a thing. Uh, well, that's good. Uh, that's good. I see you like to do your own thing. Have you been starting a movie like before? No, there was one I was supposed to like star in, but for some reason, I think they postponed the whole um planning. So we're just waiting to see what happens next. Okay, okay. So who is your favorite skit maker right now, and why? Ah, what's our favorite? Jesus Christ. Um, hmm. Who can I do without watching and skits? Funny enough, they are not like they're there, but it's like um. Ozen and Kamo. Oh, God. Mention Ozen. Yeah. Ozen is... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Ozen God. Ozen is... Ozen. <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> Those guys are stupid. <laughs> like, that's a lot name I was expecting you to, to mention. Like, you know. But here's my own. I, I like just Ozen, right? If you say Nepa Boys, I'm not a fan of yeah. Nepa Boys. But mm-hmm. just give me Uzin. Like, Uzin is creative, I, yeah. like, oh my god, this guy is this yeah. guy is crazy. <laughs> I went to the page one day because I just usually like go to um I'm kind of like I started off YouTube, I would say accidentally. It's not something that mm-hmm. I really wanted to do like that, like that. I just did it for fun. I didn't even know, even while I was doing YouTube, I didn't even know that you know that I have not so, even grown yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know that you know there will be, there's money and till date I'm still just doing it for the fun and stuff. So I was ignorant about a lot of things, to be honest. Like I, I have to be honest. Like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even know who is trending on YouTube. I, I have a friend actually that usually tell me about wherever if I tell where if mention their name, then just know that it's that my friend that told me. I I I don't know what's going on. 
but I watch your content then. I watch your yeah. content. So like, uh, yeah, I watch your content. You were part of uh, part of the people that you know were you know at So there's no way I won't watch your content. <laughs> and um, where is Ogbeni Adon? Um, I asked that question myself like severally. I there was a picture, there was a post of him I made on my page that I saw recently, and I was like, where's this guy? And the thing about Adon is he's very. From what I remember, I've not spoken to him in a long time. But all I remember is like a typical Nigerian. Even if you ask, like, I hope everything is okay. What's going on? He'll say yes. Like, you know, you're supposed to be okay. There's you are you're a strong man. All those kind of things. So I think I tried reaching out once as regarding that, but they said he claimed everything was fine. I think it was after like a robbery or accident that period. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's an yeah, yeah, yeah. I think an accident. So I, I hope he's fine. I might try reaching out to him again after this call. Yeah, you should because um, you you guys can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay, because you guys were my favorite then, like the okay. collab that both of you guys did. Then <laughs> ah, where is uh, 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 God, uh, where you did wait to say where you did the UK then? Where you call where you call the India? My American friend. Hello. Uh uh. What about them? Hey, oh. Long time no see. How is Obama and everybody over there? In the... Obama, can I? Hey. As I'm talking to you, the whole way. Obama is in the case in front planting for us. Nobody go for me. Are we coming to Nigeria very soon? Wait, to... you are coming from America. Next available airplane. Hadan, see, see, see. I won't be coming to my place of work for one month too. In fact, I have retired. Hey, mama. See, I don't care if you are sick. Leave sickness. And the life for the boss. Adam, see, I need to go and call the painter. I want to repaint this house. American friend. He has arrived. Hello? Where are you now? Are you in MM1 or MM2? Koda, I'm in MM0. I will not be able to make it. Me that way. What do you mean you're not? You are no more coming to Nigeria. Mobi no, Mobi no. After I suffer, so we will pray. Fast and pray that they deport you. Yes, you must you. come to Nigeria. Oh. That was mad. That was like bad. I watched that with my elder brother. Then like uh -huh. we laugh like crazy. And there's uh -huh. this thing that you did with Fouls as well. You know, like yeah, then like that that <laughs> like <laughs> you guys uh, sing, man. You've put up like out there that's evergreen. You know. I mean, mm. you should. Do. do you think that you're getting your flowers? Do you think that you're based on the impact that you've made in the in the industry? Do you think that people are app appreciative of that? Yeah, it's more like paving the way as well, you know, for other content creators. Yeah, I can't say from like my colleagues and the world at large, but I want to tell you today that my audience they might not be much, but they are very what's that word? They are very consistent and they are very supportive. They follow you like, religiously. I, religiously. Like sometimes I go for a while, I take a piece, and I'm scared that when I come back, what's gonna happen? And they're still there. Mm, they're so still there. Maybe it's on my own part to just be consistent. I don't know. But I feel like I'm more I'm more than satisfied with the constant, consistent fan base that I have. And I really, really appreciate them. So yeah, that's all that matters to me, anyways. As long as they're watching what I do and supporting. Have you ever really been disrespected now? before? In what sense? Like generally, by, uh, no, by a comedian or a skit maker like yourself, do you feel at some point do you feel disrespected? Like, ah, waiting be all this, waiting be the middle of all this one, she now because of say like this, like this. There's one guy, I'm not going to mention his name, he does church videos, and I find I found it very, he does what he does what he does church videos. That's all I'm going to say. I found it very <laughs> just okay. What, what name? Papa, just I don't know, he does church videos. <laughs> <laughs> I just I feel like I used to look up to you, they fuck up as I go, ah, I go with the Agola, I go do this kind of thing. I used to look mm -hmm. up to him growing up back then, like and it was one of the mm -hmm. people that I like. So when he was doing all that all that stuff, I was just like, oh, very cool she I don't go, go get time. <laughs> so But was there like a, a friction, yeah. like a an a, a interaction or a friction or something that time. The, Yeah, happened between both of you? Um, if person of me, I'll just aid them or like I don't even check up to know what's going on with their life. I feel like I don't know. Me personally, I don't care. Did he did he know? know? Do you feel like he, he knows? Uh, like I don't care if he knows. What he did was just very obvious, stupid, and immature. So bro. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you feel and I think it was when it was about to start, yeah. And you feel disrespected. 
I feel like it was unnecessary. Like you could do your stuff without bashing my own kind of stuff. I think it had to do with all this, you know, dressing like a woman, whatever, whatever. And bro, there are women that also dress like men. We don't have this conversation. People don't die over the matter. It's not like I am trying to be um an homosexual or whatever. No offense, like no offense to those that are, but like it's just, it's just unnecessary. Just do your content and go. Like, we don't have to be enemies. There are some people right now, right, that I've heard gist about that just talk about me unnecessarily. And I'm like, bro, I never even did anything to you. It's not like if you saw me in public and you said hi, so I wouldn't say hi When you say people you. talk like, about you, this is something that I don't think get on social media. Like, when you say people talk about you, do they post mm. it on social media? But I think you've been able to maintain that, like, scandal-free life. So, so they're like, so, for example, now let's say I meet someone today to them, I hear I hear about a gathering of other social media uh, content creators uh-huh. that say stuff, right? And I so just do you think like that I, there's clicks in in this social of course. Not, above, yeah. you know, is, of course. Of course. Wow. So but I I just whatever everybody's saying, like I actually are you, are you in a just, click? Obviously there's hype squad, but are you in a click? Like yeah. forget forget our hype squad. We can see hype squad that is uh, like you know, but I'm talking about a click that is not out there, but you know, I don't, you guys, I don't see any reason you guys to work with yourself, clique. nobody else. No, I don't see any reason to work with a click. If you want to work with me, like if I find your stuff like worth working on, I will work with okay. you. Yeah. One of the people that I found really cool shy in the industry, like is Adam Um Woz. I really like Woz energy is very, very cool. Um Officer Woz. Adam is a is a video is a videographer, right? Yes, he is. But I just mentioned his name because I've never had any... Like, he's such a cool guy. He's such a cool dude. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Wuss and the rest. Is, uh, rest. Yeah, Wuss. Wuss is like... Wuss is a skip maker, yeah. Yeah, I, of course I know. Uh, and Wuss, <laughs> um, um, I, I've watched you guys... Um, I think you guys did something together. Oh, speaking about that, right? Okay. That's the first collab that I did that... I did not change anything in the storyline. Okay, there was one I did that I'd not really like. But that worst one was the one that he just sent to me and I was like, bro, you did this thing like Taufik could actually do. I don't need to change anything. Wow. And that made my job so easy. I just felt like th- that collab really made me happy in some kind of way. Mm. So wow. I was it was one of my best experiences so far. And I hope to like I hope to like do something better in future, probably when we are more settled. But yeah. Keep her inside your house. Shut the fuck up. I bend with for sound. Am I bend with for sound? Jare, keep her inside your house. You know for years simple instruction. Bad she might go to trouble. Bad don't say. What the fuck is this? Keep her inside. Inside. He has there's a project I'm working on, it's on the project too, Sha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you consider a fake life? Because um wait, before you answer that question, the houses and cars, you know, a lot of these um other skit makers flaunt. Do you think is is real? And what do you think about fake life? Yes, some are real, but majority. What, what now? What would I classify as real? Mm. My, like a, a lesser percentage of because they always they ask the question, will not take this year. Every day, bends, bends, bends. It's like waiting up on new so houses. To, yeah, so we need to understand that some people now they might be paying on what is that thing called instrumentally, but now they still get them. So <laughs> if they post them, <laughs> if they post them. They did so, <laughs> but the ones that actually you know, full payment, down payment, they're very, very, they're very few. Not like it's my business, sure, but they're very few. And, um, there are some that those few people, right? I want to let you know that there is money in content creation if you're doing it right, like if mm-hmm. you're doing it very, very right. And I'm not, I don't even think I'm one of the top five earners in Nigeria right now, maybe I would say because of consistency, but. There is actually money in content creation, and um, yeah, and the people that are doing illegal, I pray they don't catch them, sha. But everybody should be doing that thing. <laughs> where they people they pack up, boy, it's my content creation. 
So do you do you um agree with the rumors out there that some of these skit makers actually pad it with um yahoo yahoo? Baba, I, mean, I don't know. It's not my business. <laughs> what they are doing does not have anything to do like with me. Like <laughs> that's their business. So whatever they are doing. <laughs> but what do you think about this whole sexualizing females in skits? Because this mm. is like a huge topic on social media. Can you just quickly give us? Uh, can you give us a, a quick answer on that? Okay, so the answer is very simple. One of my friends, he tried something one time. That's Clinton called, by the way. He tried okay. something one time. He did like what they call those things. When they say an experiment. So he did like two good skits. He had about 50k views, whatever, at that time. And he did one with like two girls with their ass as a thumbnail. He had over 300k views. He now said to confirm that this experiment works. He did another one without the females in it similar stuff he now did another one that was even a church skit but with bombs and tight clothes he had over 300k views too so i'm not supporting the idea of sexualizing women and all that i do this i think it's a very stupid idea you should not even think about st stuff like that but the market is crazy someone like me now i don't I, i'm i've reached the point whereby i don't necessarily enjoy to there because you will see that my recent truth is I'm not as I'm not as crazy as I used to be. I let other people do the craziness. But guess what? My last truth today video has almost a million views now. Like hmm. soft, without PR, nothing. Like nothing. just on its own. You get. So that says a lot about what the audience consumes more than hmm. what the creator does. So yes, the audience are like, oh, we don't like this shit, blah blah blah. Now they watch them. It's not. Now they watch them. Hmm. Yeah. So, so if you do, if we do if we do the nice ones where we say we feel like okay this one is we don't decent, support it. you we guys don't support, don't support it. it. Mm. Mm. I'm not justifying it. I'm just yeah. saying that's the reason. Yeah, that's yeah. the reason. What What's the most embarrassing moment? Um, most, most embarrassing, embarrassing moment you've had as a as a celeb. Mm. So there was one time like that. This show was in London, by the way. They told me to come and they told me to come and do comedy, she a comedy presentation. What is it called? It's like night of thousand laughs. So while I was going, right, everybody that came with my like my man, my manager at that time, all his friends that were coming with us, they said, Oh my, you know worry, just sneeze, we go laugh. Like, no even talk anything. Just if you cough like this, we go ah, why you too funny? All this kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't have drunk so much alcohol, I cannot even remember all the jokes in my head. Again. <laughs> then I started cracking. Everyone was just quiet. I, I don't know, maybe it's the way it is the way I deliver the joke. Everyone was quiet. I was not looking back that I'm over it. I wanna <laughs> brother. You were the most silent click in that, in that place that day. thank god for my brother he came to come and carry me like after a while we went to get on chiva he just told me that oh, this is my first time i don't owe anybody any apology and from then i was like maybe it's also not my kind of thing i could be a skip maker but i might not necessarily be like a public whatever i mean i can be a public speaker but not like a stand-up comedian a stand-up so, comedian yeah yeah so i mean there are stand-up comedians that cannot succeed in skit making no offense mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you know it's just their stronghold so yeah that was correct i don't care that would be not the best sure. so that's what now so you've not um after that time have you tried to do stand up no i don't know I, I, I like i prefer to be the audience in any stand up situation if i'm going to do stand up it's probably going to be a scene in my movie or skit where i use that experience and show how i fucked up so you yeah know, you you know what amazes me about you know you and people like Adon and the rest back then is the fact that mm -hmm. you guys were able to make us laugh in one minute mm -hmm. twice how are you able to do it if i'm being honest right especially with the time it takes me to do my videos all those one one minutes they are the ones that i can actually perform better but i guess we're just mm -hmm. used to yeah, it's more we're in a generation of longer content. Longer content, yes. Yeah, everybody just wants to talk. So you feel compelled because you feel like you're not delivering enough for your audience. 
when other people are doing a whole movie. Some people are doing 15 minutes kits. And yeah. all those things. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> but once in a while, I just start, try to catch crews. I'll do something short, hopefully. I think I'm in a better place now, so I'll just do whatever I like. Mixture of old and new stuff. That's mind blowing. Whiskey or DVD? Yeah. Uh, uh, why you just cram at me? Like, I love all the, I love every artist. I don't have a choice. I beg, I beg you. Am I like... serious? Like, oh, my, this phone does not have music. I would have showed you my playlist. I actually have playlists for every artist. I love every artist. Bonaboy, all of them. I Everybody has their own vibe that they give me when I need it, you know. But you've got, you've got to have, like, favorite. No, if it's someone, if you're asking me who do I fuck with, like, Aside from mm-hmm. who do I fuck with that personality? Yeah, yeah. That would be Wandiko and Olamide. So Olamide. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to ask you a personal question. <laughs> yeah. So um um do you st- are you still a fan of my channel? <laughs> Brother, I know the last video you dropped is about ZOPM Pastor, but I've not watched it yet. Like I watch all your videos, but you know why I stopped commenting? So you would know that I don't do interviews, right? Yeah, yeah. And I had to explain that to my former management the first time he reached out to me. And I was like, ah, or well, maybe I'll just go MIA so that this guy would not know that. Um, but I watch, yeah, I watch yeah. almost all your videos that you upload. Anyone that I see that I really need to see this news. Wow. Funny enough, I don't I check it. blogs. I don't, you won't see me on any blog. I don't check blogs. I don't, it's your channel I come to come and catch up with all those news. So, wow. this time around, I was Thank just you. like, almost. I like your content. I might as well just, you know, just do it as my own will. I think after this interview, you can still, you can now comment. You don't know. (laughs) At least, yes. It's part of the way now. Yeah. I talk with the channel and thank you for all the good things you're doing in the society. Like, it's really awesome. Not a lot of people are giving back. So I think it's it's a really good thing that you're doing. Really appreciate that. Hopefully, we can be on board soon as well. Yeah. God bless you. I mean, if, if, if we even if now one um, um charity both of us do like imagine how imagine how, how <laughs> like how much you know to to give back the charity. So I'm looking forward to like doing that with you. Although I'm taking I'm taking a break um now like because it's overwhelming. If you're like yeah. I've got like um you know an organization. I wouldn't say my an organization. Um this um. Uh, like a business partner that i w- work with then so they came in at some point to be like ah oh, let us let us support let us do this you know we're gonna mm-hmm. do you you know offer like a van and do all that but now like honestly i have like all that things that i feel like oh charity have to win i want to ask you something as regarding this so when it comes to charity right me no with, i don't have an issue with other people doing charity or recording you know. me okay I your camera so what do you okay. think? Like, what's your what's your what's your take personally, on that? That's the only personally, reason, right? personally, yeah. right? I have I. This is something. This is the first time I'm going to be saying it. I have people that you know I I help with their school fees personally that I don't put mm. out there, Asides. right? Okay. Aside, right? That I don't put out mm. there. I don't put their face out there. Nobody knows it. Everybody that's close to me. Some of them are watching my channel now. Even my sister is a fan of my channel. Mm. So if I'm lying, she knows. You know, there are people that, uh, you know, one just finished recently. I just paid his last wow. office, you know. Nice. Now, I think that mm. when you have a platform, and when you have a platform, yes. and you want to do more, because you can't do it alone. Okay, say this, um, a particular organization, they need like <laughs> 10 million. <laughs> and I'm going to look, say, ah, should I... Right? That mm-hmm. is when camera comes in. These people have to mm-hmm. see. I always say something. Camera, or camera, get the job done. Yes, I give hundred k to these people. Go and mm-hmm. get you understand. So that is why I feel like, and, and this is something that people that don't don't have a platform don't see. And number two is, you are letting people know that the money will not send. Give me, I'm it's using it. A lot of people have said that as well, but um. Mm-hmm. We just have to think about the people that are gaining and ignore whatever anybody have to say you know your mm. personal i'm sure you you know you're doing I, your personal what, thing too yeah but wait this mm-hmm. this angle you're coming from makes so much sense right now so there's a demarcation it does not just the lifestyle of giving yeah yeah it makes, it yeah. makes sense you have yeah strong reason yeah yeah that's so, where you're coming from yeah so that's okay, that's and, it and that makes sense yes to have like a collab in that case, yes, it makes sense. Make more people aware. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. it will make more people aware. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It will to go a long way. Trust me, to go a long way. Thank you so much, my brother. Um, do you have like any any questions for me? Hmm. Funny enough, I can't think of any except that charity exactly. one that was quite important to me, and I'm happy that I I, I heard your side of oh. things. Okay, so, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. This is um. I'm going to end this after. I'm going to cut this out. By okay. Sorry, I need to ask you something. Okay. You know there was a time you were uploading like when I mean back to back. I mean there was a day you upload like two videos. Yeah. And I think that was the last comment I made, which I was like, "I'm gonna try the rest of this hustle." <laughs> How do you deal with burnout? Because I cannot. God knows. After like the fourth. <laughs> content back to back i'm gone for like a long time yeah, so how yeah. do you deal with like don't you crash don't you have burns like yeah yeah i i have i have moments where i feel um I, you see i'm not physically strong like a physical mm. like strong person the, the the thing that i have is my head and that's how i've always been growing up and all like that so i mm. can't yeah i have limits to certain things but trust me if you see me doing doing that is it, it's the moments where like maybe i'm in a good mood and everything in my life maybe they are trying to like everything is balanced and stuff and once so, see the delicate part of that is when you're doing that when you're like doing that which I, I don't think i can really do anymore like i can maintain that but when a little thing that normally is not supposed to offend you or is not supposed to affect you emotionally just comes in your way it breaks you it scatters the whole thing so mm -hmm. that, that at that moment that you're going going it's delicate understand so have, after again yes like you just break down and even showing my face okay what people don't know is you know i told you earlier that um you know for me fame is i, I don't i don't take it serious what i want what i always want is real friendship is something that i feel like it can I, it can happen online like everybody will always think about themselves first but and everybody will be selfish yeah, I mean, you know, yeah i've always yeah. wanted real friendship if i if i'm reaching out to twice i want it to be real i, I don't want mm. okay look at my interview right with uh patata um mm. when i came back i came back to defend patata because that is me like if I vibe with you, I'm not do. I'm I'm not getting you to for content Indeed. alone. Yeah. I'm defending the. I'm defending you. That is me. Mm. So it's something that I. Social media, honestly, I feel like I'm not. I found myself in this. To be honest, I'm telling you, mm. I'm, I'm still saying it. I just did that video that day and it started trending. People started watching me and mm. said, Ah, okay, now make I started to make videos now. Mm. Even to make the money, so it took a month, two months before I now discovered that. Ah, so they make money, so people feel make money for this. I just needed two or three people to hear me. So being real is hard to, mm. um, you know. That's why I say I can't keep up. I can't keep up with Instagram. I can't keep up. I can't do too much fake. You understand? Mm. I can. It's hard. You know, it's hard. Mm. So social media for me is. That's why when you talked about you, like um, you get emotional. Some point. I I can mm. see a little bit of myself in that. Like. You know, okay, look at Pastor's situation, right? He died um, on Saturday. It took me like four days, and I was crying in front of my um one person like that. And this is something like I've never cried in front of anybody since they don't bore me. I'd always they hide myself, I would go private, even in front of my mama. I never cried before, but that person caught me in the moment. You understand? So when I broke down, you know. I broke down every it just be like the, the, the tears right on the compile for a year Shit. and everything, my stomach, everything. I couldn't eat, you know. I mm -hmm. didn't post, I didn't do anything for four days, and my family were they were worried. Wow. Like it's a, your friend. I said I know it's my friend, but like wow. and and it's not the kind of friend then eh? because they were like, Why? The reason I said I'm pastor, right? It's not like my party part, it's like when I need something, it will help me go get them. So people are thinking it's be important. And I'm like, this guy respect me. I'm older than like he's 40 years old. And he's still like there. Like if I need anything, he's always there. He's always like, ah, what are we going to do? If I'm going for charity, he's always there. 
you understand so that was like so that's why i'm with the wife we've, we've raised money i'm i'm like in on this she's in, in loot now so we just want her to be stable and fine you know that's just what we are on now you know and hopefully she get better you know amen bro. yeah but twice man thank you so much man thank you so much man yeah. Man, my pleasure brother yeah. all right guys um thank you so much for watching uh twice do you have anything for mixing crown tv subscribers what do you have to say to them why do you change your intro my intro yes <laughs> so you did part of it. yes <laughs> i no i cannot sing again <laughs> Even the kids. I'm tired. Ah, okay. I'm about to start. It's nostalgic. People will get used to the new stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and always keep in touch with Mexin Crown TV for your latest news, updates on anything. Trust me, you catch it here. You're not missing anything being on this channel. Um, it was nice talking to you, bro. Nice thank man, you nice man. Me. Thank, thanks so much for coming, brother. I really appreciate, man. My pleasure. Right. Yeah. Okay, thank guys. You. Um. Yeah. Till we see you next time. Peace.